What's up, everybody? It's your boy Travis on here. We'll be back with another video. With another banger. How are everybody doing? Hope everybody having a great day. Yeah. I'm going to wait for the chat to load in just a little bit before we start everything. Where's the onesie? No onesie today, man. No onesie today. I don't No. No onesie today. Onesie next week, next week, next week. Alright. Yes, as y'all know, your boy was back this week. I was most definitely rusty. But it's all good. Sometimes you need games like that to get humble, get refocused, and that's exactly what I needed. So me and the team are going to go back to work, go back to the drawing board, and come out and try to go undefeated in these last couple of games. So we're going to get get back right. I mean, we did the best we could do. You know, I was still rusty, still getting back into the groove of things, but we're going to fix it. We're going to get it right. Ain't nothing but a little, little adversity. That's all it is. All right. Y'all know it went down. Y'all know it went down in the game. All right, Coach Prime, he didn't hold back. Yeah. Yeah. So we got. You're not going to be taken care of. You're not going to be looked after. You're not going to have the luxuries of all this. And you're going to have to go out there and get it on your own and work your butt off. Because ain't nobody gonna give you nothing. I don't understand. I don't think you understand what this world is consists of. What we just did today was pathetic. All the love that you received, all the love that we received, oh, you getting ready to see that flip. And don't get beside yourself on social media and start responding to the foolishness because they're right. They're right. And we practicing them all. God bless. Have a wonderful I'm night. Going, I'm doing good. Yeah, that practice the next day was crazy, though. Boy, <laughs> we had we only got a couple hours of sleep for real. Woke up, time to go back to practice. But that's what we needed, though. Had to get us back on the right track. And nobody pay attention to the media anyways. We let people talk when we lose or when we win. It doesn't bother us. It doesn't get to us. So I just let them talk. I really don't care. <laughs> I know I got to go get back in there and go to work. That's it. Oh, yeah. Looking at the positives from the game. Yeah, I got my first touchdown. Yeah. yeah. First touchdown. I mean, at Colorado. Yeah. You know, first touchdown, man, felt great, but we still didn't end up losing. We didn't end up winning, so it was great in the moment. But after that, we had a shallow route, did my route, and, you know, I did anything I could do to get in the end zone. That's what I had to do. And that's when I spent move. Came in, you know. The cameras caught me and Coach Prime embracing on my way back to the sideline. What did he say in that moment? He didn't say nothing. He just said, I love you. <laughs> Actually, no, he didn't. He said, uh, you know you got a penalty, right? I said, oh, my bad, Coach. <laughs> That's what that was after the touchdown. He said, you know you got a penalty, right? <laughs> I was like, oh, my bad. But, yeah. You know, we got to continue to work. You can't get penalties like that. But, yeah, my boy Xavier, you know. You know, 10 did his thing like always. Three touchdowns. You know, 10 going to do his job. Got him three touchdowns in, man. Listen right here. I'm like, oh, my God. He is. I put my hands up before he even caught the ball. As soon as the ball went in there, I put my hands up. Yeah, that was a crazy touchdown. Second one was definitely a crazy touchdown. He just left him. There was nowhere to be found. In this play, we just worked on this. <laughs> we worked on this play a lot in practice. 
and it ended up working in the game. It was just a walk in touchdown. It was crazy. Everything happened that way it was supposed to happen. Everybody blocked who they were supposed to block, and what we did, it worked. And that's what happened. Yeah. Man, do what I had to do. Zay did what he had to do. We just came up short. We did. We got uh, to relax. And yeah, I took a freaking hit on this touchdown right here. I, had to, I know I was getting hit, tried to ball up and turn away, but it's too late. Took a hit, not the win, not I mean, hit me right in the ribs. They kind of picked me up. Nah, couldn't fit me. I had to, I had to walk off my, under my own power. You know, Coach Prime. You know, if you can walk, you ain't hurt. So get off the field. So that's what I did. But that hit hurt. But I know I had to catch the ball no matter what. Nobody cared how hard I got hit. As long as I caught the ball, that's all that matter. But I took a shot. That shot right there hurt <laughs> worse than my freaking cheap shot. But yeah. That one hurt it, but, you know, get up and play. Nobody care. Coach Prime asked, asked the uh, tough questions, was asked the tough questions about loving the game post-game post -game, uh, press conference. That's what what I just say. said in the locker room to the team is they got to make up in their mind, are they in love with this game or are they in like with it? Because when you love something, you give to it unconditionally. You give everything you got. Without a shadow of a doubt, I am truly 100% in love with this thing. And I just want people to match me. Just match my passion. Match my, match my heart. Match my love. Match my consistency. Just match my mannerisms. Just match every darn thing I give to this game. Yeah, man. Stuff like that make you get a second guessing. Do you love this game or you just like it? You just like to play it because it's fun. And I get what he's saying right there, man. You got to love this game to go out there and put your body on the line every day, every time. You got to be willing to go out there and dominate. Man, but, hey, I love the game. I'll go out there and dominate every chance I get. Doesn't matter if I'm rusty, ready to go, still going through stuff, body still aching. I'm going out there to play, give my best. And that's me. I don't know about the rest of the team. I know a lot of players on the team love the game, but we got to show more. And y'all know we got another Monday night game. We all got. Who y'all put y'all money on? Oh, the Chargers? Cowboys? Oh, crap. We got, man. A lot of people say Chargers by 30. That's crazy. All right. Huh? It has been a week of upsets. 49ers lost to the Browns. That was crazy. Eagles lost to uh Eagles lost to the Jets. That was crazy. Jets lost they have no, neither one of their corners. And the Eagles lost, so you know Miami Dolphins still did their thing. Dak is washed. Come on, bro. Leave Dak alone, man. And nothing wrong with that. He don't go out there and perform how he's supposed to. What position am I going to play in the NFL? Whichever one they pick me up for, man. CD going to go off. I hope he do. Yes, sir. I'll make sure I keep going there, man. All right. Now it's time for uh, overreaction and not overreaction. Let's get right into it. Another PA. With the public address announcer, please stop playing while standing. Is in formation, ready to snap the ball. Any more playing of music and sound effects will result in an unsportsmanlike conduct foul against Colorado. It's third down. That's so not the teacher can't uh, I guess not. Not an overreaction, man. You can't be playing music while the team's going. I wouldn't want that to happen to us. I don't like that. That's not good. You can't be playing music while the opposite team going, no matter if you're at home or away. That's just messed up. You're trying to knock them off focus. They already got a lot to think about it. The crowd already loud. Well, I wouldn't want that to happen to us. So, yeah. Not your reaction. You heard what he said. Stop playing. <laughs> this is a week of Coach Promise Press. This is a week Coach Promise Press. Inspection. 
remarkable can turnaround hear it. thanks to their coach, oh. two sport legend Deion Sanders. Here to comment is Deion Sanders. <laughs> What's up, man? <laughs> like that black dad joke. <laughs> Prime time in the house. You know what I'm saying? We just keep winning, man. Every game, every minute, we winning at life. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're also four and three, so uh, <laughs> so you have lost a few. Kyle, look at me, man. <laughs> what about me makes you think that I care about what you think about me? <laughs> You don't understand that my team has it all, man. Coaching. Team, yeah, skip this. Offense, explosive. Yeah, not overreaction. That was weak. That was most definitely weak. <laughs> Losing your tooth after the catch is crazy. That's not an overreaction. Oh. How do you lose this tooth, though? Hmm. I know I seen that, but how did he just lose his tooth? His tooth just he just spit his tooth up like a dog. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> what the heck? Yeah, I would have been stuck. I'd have been like, bro, what's going on here? Yeah, that's not overreaction. That is crazy. No better way to win than that on the Hail Mary. It is a better way to win. <laughs> Don't get to the Hail Mary part. Yeah, Hail Mary is crazy. Oh, I did see this. Yeah, that was crazy. It's not, uh, it's not overreaction. I mean, actually, it is overreaction because it's a better way to win. Don't get into the Hail Mary. But that's a great catch, though. That's definitely a great catch. That's some good luck right there. This ain't boxing. Are we talking about Logan Paul? Yeah, I knew this was coming. Yeah, that's definitely not boxing, buddy. Not an overreaction. Logan Paul did what he was supposed to do, though. You know, see how he's not trying to exhalate it, trying to back up. Just got to his corner, made sure, you know, he didn't do nothing he wasn't supposed to do. Just get out of the way. Yeah. Kept his composure, even though the dude was still coming out though. Hey, man, that's not a reaction. That's definitely not boxing. I don't know what he was doing. I guess it was just totally losing. Your dog spit up, spits up teeth. Oh, no. He got loose teeth right now, though, because, you know, I got him when he was a baby. He ain't spit it up, though. Michael Pennant had his house in the moment. Yes, sir. He definitely did. He had a great game. That's Definitely not an overreaction. He had a great game. Gage receiver was great chance. Just put the ball in the right spot. Kept the ball safe. When it was their ball, it was their ball. And they did what they had to do with the ball. And, yeah, Mike Pennis definitely had his highest moment that game. That was good. Yeah, Mike Pennis doing his thing. Big man put, a, put the clips on him. <laughs> oh, i seen this. <laughs> <laughs> oh reaction man big man ain't clamp nothing <laughs> he ain't clamp nothing man just dropped the ball <laughs> this can't be real what we talking about what we got oh, ain't no way <gasps> boing <laughs> There's no way. Boing. <laughs> Not overreaction. That can't be real. How is that even possible, bro? <laughs> He's just recording and just you know, bam. <laughs> this is a decent pull. Let me see. Oh, eggs, no boy. Yeah, ain't no way I'm finna mess with that shark. Go ahead, you take it. Get the whole thing. Go bye bye. Taking the seven, doing <laughs> doing the backflip as well. First person footage. Yes, sir. It definitely is. It's Tariq Hill, man. 
That's definitely wild. That's not a reaction though. That's wow. Hey. That's crazy. He I bet he got fined for that too. I know he got fined for it. The NFL, you know, they don't they're not finna let him do that. Because if other people start doing it, they feel like it's not good. You know, that's what the National Football League is for, but they don't care about that stuff. They don't let people have too much fun. This isn't human. Oh. Yeah, buddy. I don't know what you could have done right there. It's like he don't even jump. Like, he hit the ground before he hit the ball is even in the hoop. Like, doop. Like, while the ball is going in the hoop, he's on the ground. That's not human, bro. Not a reaction, for real. No fun league. Yeah, a lot of people were saying that. I don't know, man. It's kind of messed up, bro. Can't have fun in the league. You think Tariq Hill is the toughest cover? The toughest to cover in the NFL? Yes, bro. He's super fast, bro. Like, he just got to run. Literally, that's all he do. So all he had to do is run. He quick too, though. So you don't get him, don't get him messed up now. He's fast, but he's also quick. Chop, can we see your favorite onesie in the collection? Uh, I don't have a favorite one, man. I got a lot of onesies in the collection, though. All right, man. Let's build a perfect raw receiver. Hands. Come on, chat. Let's build a uh, perfect raw receiver. Who got the best hands in the league right now? Who should we put? Jake Flanders, Diggs. OBJ, Coop, George Pickens, Diggs. Which one are we going to pick? All right. I feel like we should uh, pick. Devontae. No, nah, I would say Devontae Adams, but. All right. Jamar Chase, big as the D hop. And I see Justin Jefferson, Grant Wilson. All right, we're going to go with uh, Justin Jefferson for hands. That's what y'all want? Uh, yeah, Devontae, uh, Devontae Adams, Devontae Adams, Devontae Adams for hands. We got Devontae Adams for hands. Damn, but Devontae Adams got them routes too, though. All right, Devontae Adams for hands. Speed, we're going to go with, uh, who we go with speed? Tariq Hill or Jalen Waddle? Them boys are fast, man. Tariq for speed. All right, Tariq for speed. Tariq Hill for speed. Route running. Stefan Diggs got some clean route running. Devontae Adams got some clean route running, too. Uh, what y'all thinking? Mike Evans, Devontae is route running. Devontae is route running, but he got good hands too. Hey, we're going digs. We're going, we're going digs, man. Stuff on digs for route running, man. Blocking, definitely going DK Metcalf. No, Brandon Ayuk. Brandon Ayuk. Brandon Ayuk. Actually, Brandon Ayuk. Uh, Blur. Who we had type of stuff, man. Yeah, Jamar Chase, he he, he is gonna blur some nine percent of the time. AJ Brown do too though. See, this is a perfect receiver. Got hands like Devontae at speed like Tyreek How. I mean Tyreek Hill. Uh route running like Stefan Diggs. Blocking like Brandon Ayuk. Blur like Pickens. Yeah. George Pickens for blur and drip. Uh, we're going, we're going, what's the name? Uh, dang. We're going Debo Simmons for drop now. Debo. Debo. AJ Brown do be having drip too. But Debo be putting that stuff on. I like that. I like that one sleeve. I also like uh, Stefan Diggs one sleeve. But, yeah. I could have added myself in this list or no? I had to make my, my own perfect uh receiver. Uh, NFL players. All right, all right. Yeah, I couldn't add my. I couldn't add myself, y'all. It was uh only NFL receivers. Next up, we got a blur. Let's get into it. Florida State receiver Keon Coleman. Blur Nation. 
Yeah, that one has snacks crazy, bro. That's a blur. Blur, 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 blur. On the set. I got blur too, y'all. We ain't gonna leave that out. <laughs> we should have put that up here. That's blur for Shosky. Blur. Head top. Yep, that's a blur. That's just, that's good defense, though. If he looked back early enough, he he's perfect. Perfect timing. Uh, let's go any other receiver. Yeah, that's not a blur, but we can call it a blur <laughs> on his head. <laughs> he landed on his head for real, though. <laughs> I know that John had to hurt, bro. He be coming down so fast, bro. Actually, it probably didn't hurt that bad, actually. Like when you're on the football field, none of that stuff be hurting for real. Blur, one hand grab. That's a great catch. There's nothing you can do about that. That's good coverage. It's a great catch. Blur. Man, that's crazy, man. Yeah, it's a great catch, man. I don't know. You can't. There's nothing else you can do. I've seen this. You know, Wilson. It's crazy. Blur. You got both feet now. He had a good game, too. That was definitely. He had a great game. That's a hell of a catch. I don't know how he called that, but he caught it. Well, actually, I do know how he caught it. <laughs> Just like that. Both feet down. Boom. Boom. Hold on. Boom. Yep. Great catch. Grant, what's in? All right, man. Before we get out of here, you know, we got a bye week. Got to sit on that loss, man. That crazy loss for this week. Don't feel good, but we got a bye week this week. Uh, we know going into these upcoming games, man, it's either win or win. It's nothing else for real. You just, we just got to go out there and win. We can't. It's already half season mark, man. We got far more guaranteed games, but then it's like 20 more practices. We got to go out there and dominate. Football season came by so fast. I mean, came by so slow, but when it got here, it's moving fast. So we got to go out there and dominate, come out fast, try to be the best best team, uh, be a second-half team for this year. I mean, for the second half of the year, go out and dominate like we didn't do in the uh, first half. Just go out there and prepare right. Dominate, be the best team, and win. What I'll be doing since I was hurt the last three weeks, uh, I'm about to get back in that lab, finna lift weights every day, train every day, and just get ready for the next game. No bye week for me. I'm staying here, I'm going up to train with the uh, coaches and stuff. Just get get my work in. It's time to get my hours back up, log back in football. No more playing around. Going to work out every day at the facility. So, yeah, that's my main thing. That's what I'm finna do. Go back and work out at the school and just continue to get better every day so I could be the best teammate on the uh, for my team. And that's it. We're going to bounce back, finish this season out the right way, not the wrong way. Who are you most excited to go up against in the NFL DB or receiver? Uh, I don't know. I feel like stuff on this would be fun because it's like a big brother. It's like a big brother, man. All the guys in the NFL right now is like big brothers to me. So it'd be fun to go against some guys. Uh, DBs, same. They like uncles, you know. <laughs> you know, you just gotta go out there and play, man. I I I want to play all them guys, I man. I want to play the best. So that's what I'm looking forward to doing. Guess who's calling me? Huncho, <laughs> you know he want to get on the game right now, but <laughs> yeah. So we doing? Get your rest, boss. I already got my rest, man. It's time to go out there and just play. It's time for me to go dominate. Go back into uh, get back into that mode. No, have you know. Can't, can't do nothing. Have you just time to go to work, eat, gain some weight, gain, put it on a couple more pounds over this week, and just be ready. 
to go out and dominate for the second half, like I said, for the season. So it's your host, Travis Hunter with 12 Talks. Love y'all. Be safe over this week. See y'all next Monday with some upcoming games. Continue to be blessed. We're going to watch the Chargers and the Cowboys tonight, and we're going to come back with the winners next Monday. Peace out.